Alright, hello Madison West Rocketry. Welcome to your second SolidWorks tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about um, nose cones and how you make nose cones. Uh, we're going to make two different types of nose cones. One's going to be an elliptical nose cone and the second's going to be an OGIV nose cone. And we're going to use a variety of different features to create these such as revolve, domes, and shells. <laughs> So, to get started, um, let's create a new document and say new part and hit OK. And while I'm waiting for it to load here, um, when you guys are wanting to learn more about SolidWorks, there's plenty of stuff on the internet, like on YouTube and stuff, or on various websites about um, different features and how you do different things in SolidWorks. And um, the best way to actually learn is just to pick something out of your physical world and try to create it on the screen. So now I'm going to start by um, creating a sketch and we're going to start with an elliptical nose cone and I'm going to make it a circle on the front plane, make the circle in the origin and drag it out, hit features or go over to sketch, hit smart dimension, smart dimension this to 2.6 inches. check, go over to the features menu, extrude bus base, this is stuff we've already done before, and make it like a lot less than 0.1 inches. So just we're gonna make this like a really really thin plate, so 0 0.001 and hit the check mark. So now that's a super thin plate. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the dome feature, so we're gonna click dome, and we're gonna click the top of the plate, and now that's making a really thin dome right now. So to um, increase the height of the dome, we're going to make it, let's say, 4 inches for a 4 inch nose cone. Now that doesn't look like much of a nose cone. So instead of doing this shape dome, um, you have to check over here the elliptical dome. And that'll make it the shape of a nose cone. And hit the check mark. And then you're done. Now, um, a nose cone needs one last thing, and that is a shoulder, and the shoulder is what allows it to slide into the body tube of the rocket. So I'm going to go over to Sketch, and just draw a circle on the origin, drag it out, not all the way to the edge, but just a little bit in, hit the check mark, smart dimension it to 2.55, hit the check mark, go back to Features, Extrude Boss Base, and let's make this one inch so it's a one inch shoulder and that should hold it in the rocket pretty well now this is a nose cone that's just filled with material and that's actually pretty heavy so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna cut all the material out of the inside and just have a shell of it and the way we're gonna do that is with the shell feature and it's right up here you hit shell and then you just click on the bottom and then you click the thickness of the outer wall that you want to, um, you choose the thickness of the outer wall. And I'm going to make my thickness 0 0.05 inches, so a 20th of an inch. And hit the check mark. And now you can see that it is hollow. So that's our first type of nose cone. And in building that, we use two different features that we haven't used before. We use the dome feature and we use the shell feature and both of these are pretty useful in um, making rocket parts. Okay, I'm gonna save this as... Um, I don't know where that came from. In my documents... Um, I'm gonna save this as an elliptical nose cone and make sure you save all the files from this project and then at the end we're gonna put them all together in an assembly and I'll make that one tutorial. So I'm going to save this in Rocket Club, SolidWorks stuff, and tutorials, and save. Alright, now that we're done with that, we're going to create a new part, and now we're going to create an OGIV nose cone. So instead of doing our normal first sketch where, as a circle, we're going to change it up a little bit. So we're going to start with a line and we're going to have that on the front plane and we're going to 
have the line start at the origin and bring it out at a 180 degree angle. Click it down and you guys will be able to see what shape I'm drawing pretty quickly here. Go up about an inch, click down, go to the right a little bit, click down, and now you can hit escape. Then you want to create a center line. So open up the line menu, go down to center line, um, sketch it up at 90 degrees, and then we're going to want to smart dimension this center line um, to the height of that we want our nose cone to be. So we're going to make this four inches, well, five inches plus the shoulder. Um, and then we're going to make the shoulder here one inch. And when you guys are doing this, just follow along and you'll see once we're finished. And then make this half the inner diameter. So instead of 2.55, we're going to make this 1.25. Okay, and now we're going to go up to our um, arc menu. So it's right below circle, and you're going to want to select three point arc. You're going to want to make the first point at the top of your center line, the second point at um, this far edge, you can see right down here. And then the third point, we're going to want to drag, you can see how we're going in and out, somewhere in the middle, like right there. And we're going to want to make this little shelf right here, smart dimension this, to 0.05 inches. Now we can smart dimension um, this arc, and it's going to give us what the radius of the circle would be. And you guys can kind of see that. And we're going to click down. And let's make the radius... Um, eight inches. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hit the check mark. Now this is just a simple sketch, right? So we're gonna wanna 3Dify this by using a different feature that we've never used before called um, the revolve pause space. So we're gonna click revolve pause space. Oh, that's not a good pop-up. Um, I think this will still work. Yes. Um, so you can see it revolved it around the center line and made the shape of the Ogive nose cone. And hit check. And we have our nose cone. Now to finish this off, like we did the last one, we're going to hit shell and click the bottom, make it 0.05 inches or a twentieth of an inch. Hit check. And we are done. I'm going to save this as my... Alright. So for the next tutorial, I think we are going to do um, some reference geometry, some um, patterning of features, drawing on curved surfaces, maybe some um, lofts. So yeah, check that out. Thanks, guys.